hi guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video I am going to be showing you how to repair a ripped or broken lace frontal or closure um, it's actually pretty simple it's not as complicated as some may think so basically I have here um, one of my wigs that I first made when I first started like learning how to make wigs um so it's about like a year and some change since then so obviously from then till now like it's you know it's not like a new wig um i washed it and blow dried it and brushed it out so that's why i look crazy but it's fine yeah i've had it for a year and over time my lace begins to rip obviously that's like the biggest main concern this hole right here but i don't know if you can see but like kind of along the sides there are itty bitty little holes forming too like that I know that if I don't get they'll become bigger so if you're worried about having to throw away your wig because you know you have a rip in it you don't have to do that I'm going to show you an easy way on how to fix these problems so you can continue to wear all your wigs just as if they were brand new so this is the frontal right here up close and as you can see like around the hole you can see other holes like right here and some over on this side and over here and that's perfectly fine because we're going to fix all of that so the first thing that you want to get is a needle and you want to make sure that this needle is pretty small you don't want a big needle because a big needle means a bigger hole if you think about it so you want a small needle to go through your frontal and not cause any more damage than you already have the next thing that you guys will need is invisible thread and invisible thread is your saving grace invisible thread is made out of polyester so it's literally not like a linen or some type of fabric thread so the thread does not break it's not stretchy at all so this won't like snap your frontal or like you know cause any more damage so against the black surface, you can see the thread, but in any other surface, it's really like clear. Like this is a clear thread. So this is what you will use. So you loop the thread in the needle like you would do any other thread. And then at the end, you tie it off and you just begin to start sewing your frontal where the holes are. So where the hole is, I like to start a little bit further back just to ensure that the hole doesn't grow or get any bigger. In my first knot, I go through three times just to make sure that the thread is secured and locked into place. This is what it looks like after you're done sewing it, but when you flip it over, you can barely see the thread. Like it's barely there. This is honestly the easiest way to repair a ripped frontal or closure. You don't have to worry about throwing away the whole wig because there's a hole in it. This is how you would repair it. It might take you a couple of tries just to get used to sewing the frontal, especially with that type of thread. But once you get used to the hang of it, it's really simple. So I'm going to go and fix all these little holes that I have here. And then I'll just come back and show you what they look like when it's all done. So we're gonna do this one more time and I'm going to show you step by step again how to sew this hole. So first you wanna locate the hole both under and on top of the frontal. Then what you wanna do is you want to pull the hair away from the hole so that you're not sewing any of the hair into the hole. Next, when you flip it over, what you wanna do is you want to hold the frontal with your thumb and your pointer finger. And then under the frontal, you want to hold it with your middle finger just so that you have a good grip on the frontal. And then you want to start sewing up your hole.
and that's literally it you guys when you sew up the hole it really becomes invisible and when you flip it over you can't see the part and that is how you repair a ripped front hole So literally guys, that is what I do to fix my frontals. You guys can't see anything. Like honestly, that big hole, like the bigger hole was literally right, <laughs> right here in my freaking center. So I had to fix that, but it's not even there anymore. Um, I'm gonna try to zoom in so you guys can see it. But yeah, like you guys can't see it. You can kind of see like the thread right here because it's so zoomed in and then I have my lights on it but other than that like you can't see where the hole was like if, even if there was a hole it's lit because that's literally all you need to fix your front toe like brand new and you are walking around with a new wig I got my invisible thread from Joanne's Fabrics but I'm pretty sure you can buy it anywhere like online or a store like Michael's I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, please make sure to give me a thumbs up and to subscribe so you can catch more videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one.